YouTube, I am not going to waste any of your time with an intro. This is the universal how-to tutorial on how to overclock your GPU. It does not matter what GPU, I'm going to show you step by step how to do it clearly. Let's do it. All right, before we can start with this, you need to know how to get this. So I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to show you that right now. So to get to there, you're going to go down to the description down below. You're going to click both of the links. One of them is for MSI Afterburner. This is the program that you use to overclock your GPU. And one is for MSI Combustor. This is used to stress test your GPU while you're overclocking it. You're going to need to download both of these. These both have to be downloaded in order for you to continue. All right, so let me open up MSI Afterburner here. All right, so now that you have MSI Afterburner open, the very first thing that you're going to do is you're going to click this K button, right? And as we're going through this, do not click anything I don't tell you to click because you're just going to screw yourself. You're going to fuck up your GPU. It's just going to be bad for you. So just don't click anything. Just, just listen to me and click as we go here. All right. So pull off this to the side here. We're going to want to run this stress test. Okay. It's okay to run it at 12, 1280 by 720. You can run it at something else if you want. I'm going to run it at 1280 by 720. Just going to minimize it a little bit and I'm going to put it off to the side right here. All right, so now that we have them both open and ready to go here, now we're gonna focus on the power limit and the temp limit first. Now you're gonna wanna push these all the way up as high as they can go. This is not a scary thing. This is what you should do in order to overclock your GPU. You should put these up to a higher limit, higher temp limit. Okay, so put those up as high as they go and then we'll move on to fan speed. Now fan speed, this is really up to you. This is really how cool you wanna keep your computer. You want to put this fan speed up to 100 you can click this a to turn it into um manual and you can move this up so i usually keep it at around 70 all right um this keeps my computer cool you can do it higher you can do it lower but you want to keep your computer as cool as possible for long term so you know i can apply this and i can actually hear the fan in my computer speed up right now so that is indicating to me that this is working um, now, sometimes on some of your guys' computers, and I got this in one of the last videos, so I wanted to touch on it, um, you're not able to adjust the fan speed. And that is because you're most likely on a laptop. And if you're on a lap, and at certain laptops, you can adjust fan speed, certain laptops, you can't. So if you're on a laptop and you can't adjust your fan speed, you can still continue forward with this. Just know you got to make sure you're watching your temperature. All right, now that the fan speed is all over, we're going to focus on the core clock, okay? So next thing with the core clock is we're going to want to go up in increments of 20, okay? So you're going to press 20, you're going to press enter, and then you're going to hit this check mark. That's going to solidify it. Now you're going to test 20. You're going to see if this combustor runs okay. If it runs okay, you're going to go to 40. You're going to press enter, you're going to hit the check mark. You're going to sit here and you're going to wait. How's it doing? Doing okay? All right, it's doing okay. So we're gonna now go to 60, press enter, check mark, boom. You're just gonna keep going up like this. Eventually, this combustor, you're gonna go too high and it's gonna lag or it's gonna crash. If it lags or crashes, that's when you know your limit, okay? Mine is about 140 before it crashes, but I'm not gonna put it at 140. If it crashes at 140, you want to set it to 120. You always want to be under your limit because if you're in a high intensive GPU game, it's more more than likely going to crash when combustor won't crash. So, you know, combustor is very forgiving. So just be mindful of that. So always set it a little lower than your limit. So I can run it at 120 and it's not going to crash. Great. 140 too much. It's going to crash this combustor. So I want to set it to 120. Now we're going to move on to memory clock. So I'm going to go up in increments of 10 and you're going to click the check mark just like we did before. And you're just going to keep going up over and over in increments of 10 instead of 20 until it crashes, until combustor crashes. And like I said, every single person's um, core clock and memory clock are going to be different. So yours may be way higher than this. Yours may be way lower than this. It's completely dependent on your GPU and what your GPU is and if it's already been overclocked or if it's a, you know, if it's a straight up stock GPU, you may have more leeway with this. So it's completely up to your GPU as to how far these things go. So you have to check it for yourself. You have to go up in increments and be safe with your computer or you will fuck your computer. So go slow, 
go up in increments like we just talked about and these are my limits right my memory clock can go to 60 but i'm going to keep it at 20 just to be safe as you can see the combustor is already showing the improvements and you will see the improvements in the game as well the, the improvements in the game as well will be very drastic um, depending on your gpu you could see 20 to 30 percent performance improvements so you know this is a very very good free tool to use now when we talk about the core voltage i just want to let you know you use messing with the core voltage is high risk for no reward you may get what one one fps increase it's not worth it for messing with your voltage and fucking up your so do not do that just don't mess with the core voltage and you'll be fine so once you're done with all of this and you've set this all up all you have to do is click save and it'll save it to one of these profiles so i can click one here and it'll save it to a profile that way i never have to like set this up again all right and then also you're going to want to look at this button up here this is apply at windows startup you're going to want to check that off so basically you don't have to re-put this in every time you start your computer you can just start up your computer and these settings will already be loaded in so i would only suggest doing this if your um if your core clock and your memory clock and all this is already set up and you know it's safe because if you do that when you're at crazy high numbers every time your computer restarts it's going to be super overclocked and it's not going to be healthy for your computer so you should you know get to a safe overclock that that we've talked about and how to make it safe and then you're going to hit that that windows button so that every time you start up it's going to show up now that's it guys i mean that's that's literally how you overclock your gpu it's a universal guide anyone can download this anyone can use it um certain things like fan speed like i said you might not be able to adjust the fan speed if you're on a laptop specific laptops so just be aware of that. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you want to shit on me, make fun of me, comment down below. I'm looking for as many comments as possible. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if there's any questions. Like for real, if you if you post a, a question down below, I will try my best to answer it. Um, I tried to answer a lot of questions from the last video, but I'm sure there's going to be more. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.